Any question? Alguna pregunta? No. Is it, is it interesting? Is it interesting? Yes. Are you getting interested? Okay. So he said, Ani Sarvani Sangyamya Yukta Asita Matpara Vashehi Vashehi Yasa Indriyani Tasa Pragya Pradishtita. He said, That is why I'm telling you that you know you need to restrain your senses, mind and intellect. Okay, and connect with the with the self, and you know, and and you know, and regard the self to be the absolute, and do everything for the self. Why? Vashehi yasya indriyani tasya pragya pradishtita. You know, he he whose whose senses are restrained, whose senses are in control, that person is considered to be you know established in the absolute knowledge if you really want to get you know get established or get connected not only connected you want to you know be the knowledge you want to become the knowledge and you know you want to be established completely in knowledge then you need to you know you need to restrain your senses totally aditi Y dice, dice, sigue, dice, tú necesitas restringir sentidos, mente e intelecto y conectar con el ser y dejar que el ser sea lo absoluto, hacer todo por el ser, para el ser. Aquel o aquella que ha restringido sus sentidos está establecido en la sabiduría, está establecido en el conocimiento absoluto. Y eh, por eso necesitas restringir eh, los sentidos totalmente. Si lo que quieres es eh, establecerte ahí. <laughs> so now he says why it is so important for us that you know we we need to have a control over the senses. Why it is why it is why it is so important? Because you know if the senses are not in control, then they get attached to the sense objects. And if they get attached to the sense objects, what happens? You know, he says in this next two verses, Aditi. Entonces, ¿por qué es tan importante para nosotros controlar los sentidos, restringir los sentidos? Eh, porque si los sentidos no tienen el control, se apegan a los objetos de los sentidos. Y entonces, ¿qué es lo que va a pasar? Y ahora nos lo va a explicar. Ok. Hayato okay. Vishan Punsha. Sangash Teshu Pajayate Sangyat Sanjayate Kama Kamat Krodhu Vijayate Krodhat Bhavati Sammoha Sammohat Smriti Bibrahma Smriti Bhangshat Buddhi Nasho Buddhi Nashat Pranashati. So this is like a formula. You know what he said? This is a formula. This is the formula of life. Till now, Krishna had been telling us to restrain our mind, to restrain our senses. Why? So that they don't, you know, they don't let the senses get attached to the sense objects or the world. Now, why did he say this? That you should not let your senses get attached to the sense objects. You know, that is what he says now. You know, the reason, uh, the reason why, why one should, you know, uh, restrain his senses from the sense objects. He says, Dhyato Vishayan Pumsha Shangas Teshu Pajayate. Like, you know, I wake up. I wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I do my work. All my work, you know. So, when I wake up and when I'm doing all the work, though the whole world is in front of me, I don't see the whole world. I only see those things which is, you know, which is important to me. Where my priority is, that is only what I see or hear or feel or touch or taste. Okay. I don't see everything. You know, I don't see everything. But in reality, what happens is that, you know, this is what I think that. You know, I, I wake up in the morning, I do my job, and I only, you know, touch specific things during my day. 
okay this is what i think but in reality what happens is when i open my eyes in the morning and i go through the whole day you know wherever my eyes is going wherever my eyes is going wherever wherever my ears is going wherever my nose is going or my tongue is going or my skin is going they are attracting everything they are attracting everything you know by getting attached to them i am not aware that my senses have already gotten attached to things which you know i am not aware i think that i am going to the supermarket i am going to the supermarket to buy vegetable i buy vegetable and i come back and if people ask me what did you bring i say that i have brought vegetables from the market but you know this is what i know but the things that i don't know is this that while i am i have gone from my my house to the market and i have returned from there you know i have brought back everything which you know which were in the path of you know which were in the path without my notice everything has come within my mind aditi entonces eh, dice hasta ahora krishna dice que restringir los sentidos de los objetos del mundo eh, habla de esto de, de que es necesario ¿Por qué? bueno pues aquí está la razón dice es como cuando tú te levantas por la mañana y vas al trabajo y el mundo entero está frente de ti y ves todo el mundo. Pero lo cierto es que solo ves lo que es importante para ti, lo prioritario para ti, lo que tocas y lo que ves. En realidad lo que pasa es que abres los ojos por la mañana y todo el día tus ojos van eh, al mundo, tus orejas van al mundo, eh, 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 tu gusto va, tu, tu tacto de la piel, tu, todo va y atrae. Uh, y es apegado a todos esos objetos. Tus ojos van y se apegan a, visualmente a tantas cosas. Tus orejas se apegan visualmente a tantos oídos del tacto. Así que es, por ejemplo, cuando, cuando tú vas al supermercado. Tú vas al supermercado a comprar vegetales, a comprar verduras. Y vuelves y te preguntan, ¿qué has traído del supermercado? Y tú has dicho, he traído verduras. Pero lo cierto es que no, que vuelves a casa y cuando vuelves, vuelves con todo lo que te has encontrado por el camino del supermercado y del camino. Todo eso está en tu mente, vuelves con todo eso. Ok. Ok. Now, when they have brought things in my mind, ok. Dhayato Vishayan Pungsha. Shangas teshu pajayate. When I, when my senses are exposed to the world, everything that it sees or comes in contact, it gets attached to them. Now, what happens when it gets attached to them? They bring the all the matter into our mind. So when they bring everything in my mind, so what it, what does my mind do? My mind wants to attain them. Like I, I was going in the road and there was a shop, okay, and there's a sweet shop. I I I don't want sweet. I don't want sweet. And when I'm driving my car, I was not even as you know aware that there is a sweet shop. But my eyes have seen and it has it has got at us to that sweet sweet shop. Now because because you know by attaching itself to the sweet shop it brought the information into my mind so then what happened my mind will create desire i will then have desire to have one sweet in this way you know whatever whatever my my eyes sees or whatever my ears listen or whatever my tongue tastes or whatever my you know nose smells or whatever my you know, skin touches, you know, they all bring the informations into the mind and the mind from there creates desires. So I am like full of desires. Okay. So, Dhyate Vishayan Pungsha, Sangas Teshu Pajayate, Sangjat Sangjayate Kama. You know, what happens? when i am getting attached to the 
to the sense object i am getting attached to the sense object and they you know they they create desire within me and you know this is how they have created desire okay aditi okay dice ahora cuando ¿Por qué es tan importante esto para nosotros? ¿Por qué es importante controlar los sentidos y que no se apeguen a los objetos? Pues uh, ahora cuando tienes uh, las cosas en la mente, eh, los sentidos se conectan con el mundo y todo lo que se está en contacto con el mundo, los sentidos, los sentidos se conectan con los objetos del mundo y todos los objetos con los que están en contacto se apegan a ellos y traen toda esa materia a la mente. Entonces la mente lo que hace es que quiere atender todo esto, quiere lograr todo esto. Por ejemplo, vas por la calle y tú no quieres nada, vas conduciendo el coche, pero de repente te giras conduciendo el coche y ves una tienda de dulces. Entonces toda esa información viene a la mente y ¿qué pasa? Que la mente quiere, de repente crea el deseo y quiere un dulce. Entonces los ojos quieren lo que ven, la piel quiere lo que toca, las orejas quieren lo que oyen. Toda esa información de los objetos que es vista, que es oída, que es tocada, viene a la mente. Y esa mente lo que hace es crear deseos, crear deseos todo el tiempo, la mente se llena de deseos. ¿Qué pasa? Que el apego, ¿qué pasa? ¿Por qué el apego a los objetos? ¿Por qué no apegarnos a los objetos de los sentidos? Porque estos objetos de los dos sentidos, este apego lo que hace es traer y crear un montón de, de, de deseos. Y esto es lo que sucede. ¿Qué? Yes. Yes. So, you know, uh, they create desires. The mind creates desire. Now, desires are something which never gets fulfilled. You know, des desires get multiplied. Desires get transformed, but they never get fulfilled. So, if you have any desire, you know, you know that desire will increase and increase. It will never, you know, it will never be satisfied. So desires are not satisfied, desires are not fulfilled. And when the desires are not fulfilled, what happens? You know, when my desires are not fulfilled, what happens? Sanjat Sanjayate Kama Kamat Krodhu Vijayate. I become angry. When you know why are people angry? People are angry because their desires are not complete, their desires are not fulfilled. And because they are very angry, okay? So, you know, when my desires are not fulfilled, then I become very angry. Sanjat, Sanjayate, Kamat, Kamat, Sakama, Kamat, Krodhu, Vijayate. Now, what happens? What happens when I'm angry? Krodhat, Bhavati, Sammoha. I am completely possessed by anger. I am hypnotized by anger. The anger has come, you know, anger takes over me. I forget, you know, what is good, what is bad. The anger has taken over me. Rudat Bhavati Sammoha. Sammoha Smriti Bi Brahma. And when I am completely, you know, like hypnotized by anger, then I am, you know, my, my, my memory, my memory is corrupted. My memory is corrupted. I, I forget. Suppose, you know, I'm very angry and I'm very angry and I see my, my friend, my dear friend standing in front of me, you know, whom I really love. But because I'm angry, I forget that he has done so many things for me and I start to, you know, shout at him. And this is only because I am, you know, I am, I'm, I'm possessed by anger. I'm hypnotized by anger. So, and because of that, I, you know, I have this. I have this distorted memory. My memory, I have memory loss. So, Krodat Bhavati Sammoha, Sammohat Smriti Bibhrama. That is, you know, when I'm angry, then I become very, very, you know, taken over by anger. I'm hypnotized by anger. And once I'm hypnotized by anger, then, you know, 
I lose my, my memory every day. Entonces la mente crea deseos y lo que sucede es que los deseos nunca se llenan. Es la naturaleza de los deseos. Los deseos eh, se transforman. Un deseo se convierte en otro deseo, evoluciona, se transforman, pero no se llenan. Eh, se, se, se va de un deseo a otro, un deseo a otro, pero nunca se satisface. Entonces los deseos no, se, no te vuelven pleno. Entonces, ¿qué pasa cuando los deseos, a través del camino de los deseos que se transforman, nunca, nunca te, te completas, nunca te, te vuelves pleno? Que te enfadas. Cuando un deseo no, no, no te llena, cuando el deseo no se satisface, viene el enfado. ¿Por qué la gente se enfada? Porque sus deseos no se completan, porque sus deseos no se satisfacen. Y entonces, ¿qué pasa? Que te, te vuelves totalmente poseído por el enfado. El enfado te toma te olvidas de lo que es bueno, lo que es lo malo y entonces es como si estuvieras completamente hipnotizada, hipnotizado por el enfado y la memoria se corrompe, todo se te olvida. Por ejemplo, estás muy enfadado con un amigo tuyo que amas, una amiga y de repente se te olvida todo lo que amas, todo lo que ha hecho por ti y empiezas a decirle un montón de cosas y, y te olvidas de, de todo, te, des, te, te hipnotizas, se, se te va toda memoria. Ok. Ok. So, Buddha Bhavati Sammoha, Sammohat Smriti Vibhra. Smriti Bhrangshat Buddhi Nasho. And when you have this memory loss, you know, when your memory is, is, is destroyed, then what happens? Buddhi Nasho, your wisdom is gone. Your wisdom is destroyed. Just see, you know, you know, when you have, you know, when when you're you know you don't have any memory you 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 know you, your memory is completely you know destroyed then the wisdom that you possess the good heart that you possess the good mind that you possess the good intellect that you possess they are also destroyed smriti bhangshat buddhi nasho and when your you know wisdom is destroyed when your heart and your mind you know intellect good intellect is destroyed What happens? Buddhi nashat pranashati. You know, with the destruction of your of your of your wisdom, you bring destruction to yourself. So, you know, a man is destroyed only because you know if you go back, you know, he was attached. He got attached to things, and because of that, slowly, slowly, it brought his destruction okay if you see the world if you see the world if you see the people around you will see that you know everybody in this world they are suffering they are suffering they are all you know why they are suffering because they follow this path they get attached then from attachment comes comes you know comes desires desires are not fulfilled they get angry And then they are completely taken over by anger. They lose their memory. And because they lose their memory, they, you know, they lose their wisdom. And because they lose their wisdom, they don't know what to do, what, what to do right or wrong. You know, they always choose the wrong path. And while they choose the wrong path, they are all destroyed. They spend the whole life, you know, you know, you know, just, you know, blaming others, just in frustration, in depression. Okay, this is what it happens. So if you really want to have a blissful life, you should stop your mind to get attached to things. And that is why the senses has to be restrained. Aditi. Okay, entonces nos dice, cuando pierdes la memoria, tu sabiduría se va. Así que simplemente mira esto, que cuando, cuando tú pierdes la memoria, tu buen corazón se va, cuando pierdes la memoria, los buenos pensamientos se van, la sabiduría se va, todo esto es destruido, todo el buen corazón, el pensamiento, la sabiduría, todo se destruye. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Que es la destrucción para ti, cuando destruyes tu buen corazón, cuando destruyes tus buenos pensamientos, es la destrucción para ti. Y, y las personas que que se destruyen a sí mismas, si te fijas, es por el apego a las cosas. 
Por eso este apego a las cosas lo que hace es traer eh, tu propia destrucción, traer nuestra destrucción. Así que si miras eh, la gente en este mundo, verás que la gente sufre. Que sufren porque siguen este camino, siguen este camino del que hemos estado hablando. Hay un apego y de los apegos surgen deseos que no se completan y entonces se enfadan y entonces pierden la memoria, pierden la sabiduría, no saben qué es lo bueno o lo malo y entonces se apegan, siguen apegados y se destruyen. Y así la gente pasa su vida hablando mal de los otros o en frustración o en depresión o en, o en impotencia. Así que si tú quieres vivir una vida de bendición... Eh, es muy importante para tu mente eh, que no te apegues a las cosas, que restrinjas tus sentidos. ¿Ok? Yeah. ¿Ok? So yes. today we have to stop here. Ok. And uh, I hope that it's, it is very, very useful for you. Uh, if you want, you can write to me. Ok? Uh, if you practice it, you can write to me. Tell me how does